hello hello beautiful scorpio welcome into my channel the rare gazelle my name is reem and welcome into your reading this is going to be for sun moon rising and venus scorpio i'm going to get started on your spiritual growth your personal development healing and guidance and then i will flow into your romantic love life reading i'm getting a lot of star energy a lot of star energy. I'm seeing a star card in my mind's eye. I even saw it before I started shuffling for you. Um, yes, this is healing and clarity. Lots of cl clarity. But you're actually seeing proof of something. Proof of something. I'm getting a lot of um, imaginative energies and frequencies. Um, I'm seeing this really interestingly. Hold on. The vanishing mirror. stars in the sky. I keep feeling star energy with you. I'm seeing that you're sending out a lot of energy. You see here, there's a lot of energy being sent from you. Um, I'm seeing your imagination in the way that it's positioned. Um, the way I'm seeing it is it's almost like your imagination has just like come forward. I think this is your imagination. And it's, it's almost like your imagination. So like you're sending out this energy. You're sending out two energies. Okay. One of them is your imaginative self. And so I'm seeing like your imagination being sent out and it's being presented. Your imagination is standing right in front of you. And your imagination as it stands in front of you is shattering this mirror. It's shattering like old truths. It's shattering old visions. It's shattering old thoughts it's shattering patterns it's shattering everything that you used to know or thought that you knew and it's bringing in this newer mirror so to speak but the way that i'm seeing it is is, is actually a mural like your imagination has painted something in full your imagination has conjured up this fullness of energy encompassing 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 excuse me your true desires your true emotions the emotion the truth that you sit in in the here and now not the truth that you used to sit in and i see that there's creations or um things that you want to create for yourself things that you want to um focus on um things that you're envisioning for yourself and it's kind of like you're i see like your imagination standing in front of you and just like touching like placing this this energy on your third eye um to see something clearly and that's the star i'm seeing a star right here in the midst of your where your third eye energy is and see this is a lot of like purple this is a lot of um that that color which is um like your your third eye but also your crown energy is heightened like all here above your head because you're sitting in your imaginative space right now you're sending out imaginative energies and it's almost like your imagination quite literally has taken some kind of form and stepped out in front of you and it's like you're seeing the imaginative self paint 
these beautiful creations that are conjure are conjuring up inside of your being um there's something like there's something that you see there's something that is like piquing your interest as your imagination as your imaginative self stands in front of you and 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 paints you this beautiful creative mural of all of your desires and visions and dreams and so on and so forth there's something that piques your interest here with this light atop of your crown there's something that you see there's something that is um like i'm seeing like my heart open to this so i'm seeing like you feel a, a pull, you feel an alignment to this energy, but you don't quite know what it is or what it looks like or what form it is just yet um, is something that I'm seeing here. Again, like treasures in the shadows. This energy keeps coming out. Treasures in the shadow because they are... Um, aspects of ourselves these are unexpected things that we never thought that we would like or enjoy or skills that we have or talents inside of ourselves um so there's something here that you have definitely uncovered in the shadow this is shadow transformation um and here at the bottom of that you have here a tidy house See, this is something in form. This is something that has take. This is an energy that has taken form. So we're going from this light that you're not really quite sure of what it is, but you feel such a heart home pull to it. You feel so inclined to explore this energy. You don't know. You don't know exactly what it is, but you feel so drawn to it. And you know what? Um, I'm getting this. I'm getting a really interesting image. Oh my God! This is one one one. I didn't even realize it. One one one. Yeah, yeah. You're so aligned to this energy. Um, so I I play a lot of video games, and I'm getting this this video game um image in my head. So I I I'm replaying Uncharted um, because I love Uncharted. Um, but I'm replaying it, and there's there's a, a a gameplay where you know you're you're on the path and you're supposed to get somewhere but you, you don't really know where you're supposed to go but you feel like you're going in the right way and then there is this little like hint <laughs> there's this little like button that appears there's this little hint that appears on the side of your screen right and you click on it and it will take you it'll kind of like zoom you into the space into the area that you are meant to reach right and you're like okay that's exactly where i need to go okay it doesn't look really clear from over here but i feel like that's where i need to go it's almost like the sun um is like a top of this energy like there's light atop of this energy the light is kind of masking this this energy that you feel so drawn to so you don't quite see it just yet but your imaginative self is giving you like some kind of hint like there it is it's here it's in the mural it's in the creative space it's in the creative energy it's in the vision that you're conjuring up it's there but you don't quite know what it is even though you're creating it you're imagining it but you don't quite know what it is but you know that it's there um if that makes sense and so you see the, the the space that you need to go to you see it right even in the video game it's like it's there and sometimes there's like sun i'm seeing like sun this light around it so you can't quite clearly see it so at this point you need to figure out okay how do i get there but how do i get there so there's like avenues and steps to get there but then when you get there there's this entire form and structure that appears it's like proof of this energy exists does this make sense you're getting proof of something that something actually exists or something can exist you're getting proof of something that you have created or you're seeing proof of a vision that you have seen 
um, there's something again that your imaginative self is standing in front of you showing you you feel a pull to it you don't quite know what it is there's a light covering it light is masking it as if it's like veiling it to protect it or maybe like you're guided you're meant to guide yourself through this path and just trust where you're headed and where you're going to and then as soon as you get there there's proof it takes form it's right there before your very eyes remember how i was seeing like stars and here you have stars in the sky right and stars in the sky also navigate you right but also this card says clarity stars are clarity but i mentioned this star energy is providing you with proof proof that something exists and can exist and will exist I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I feel like that was really long-winded. I really hope I explained that um, accurately. Um, okay, let's move on. Let's go to this shaman deck, um, the mystical shaman, before we get into your tarot. There's a lot of earth connections as well. Um, can even see like the sun in the background right instead of the light being in front of this energy right the sun is in the back of the trees like unveiling this it's really really beautiful you're seeing proof of something you're going to see proof of something you're going to be shown proof I'm also seeing like, I'm actually seeing this in my mind's eye where you see these roots around this uh, little hut right here, this little door, see the door, but see all the roots around it to this tree. Please tell me why I'm seeing that this, these roots of this tree are unclutching this door. Like root, like the roots that clutch you, because I'm saying clutch, because there's something, there's some kind of hold, there's some kind of hold, um, but again, it's like this unveiling, and I'm seeing the tree's roots be unclutched from this doorway. Oh my God! As I'm saying that, look at the sweat lodge with that eye of the needle, that doorway. Um, One 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 is your number. Okay, one 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 is, is your number. Look at that twenty two at the bottom. Go stance. So what do you have for Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? This proof. This energy. What's this other other energy that you're sending out? Because you're sending out your imagination. There's also something else that you are sending out. You're sending out a lot of energy. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're sending out so much energy. Look at the sun. See, it's like masking this energy. See the sun, but this energy is going, this, this light is going to move. You can even feel the energy. It's being like pushed to the side. It's moving. The sun. You have here the curse, the staff, and the beauty way. 451. You have 5151. So I'm feeling someone is 51 years old. I have to say that. Okay, 51 years old. But this is also 6-6. Six, six. Okay, we are in year 6. And this is the year of harmony. This is the year of love. This is the year of Venus. Star of Venus. But this is about personal power here with the staff you have here the curse i'm also getting 414 414 okay or 144 okay 144 or 414 
Wow, I love that the sun came out. That is incredible energy. It's everything that we're feeling. This curse energy. You're sending something out. Again, there's two energies that are that you're sending out. Okay, one of them is the imaginative self. Okay? That we just talked about here. All right? The other one is like a hunter or huntress energy even this 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 dragonfly is being sent out it's being sent out out of the lotus you're hunting like cursed energies inside of yourself you're hunting energies that do not belong to you anymore you're you're hunting energies to remove them, to clean them, so that your personal power, so that your personal power power can rise. It's like you're sent you're sending out your energies to this space before you actually get there. Yeah, I said that right. Okay. I'm like, what did I just say? Um, does that make sense? <laughs> you're sending out the imaginative self. You're sending out this hunter and huntress energy. To this space that has taken form before your physical body actually arrives there and as these energies get sent out okay you see your imaginative self you see that light you feel that heart pull you feel something is there okay and then you start the momentum then you start the physical movements Okay, because that imaginative self, what you see, what you feel, a pull to, what you see, right? Because you don't quite see it, it's masked, but you see it, you feel it, you know something's there. So you start moving, right? You start moving the beauty way. You start going. Okay? And then there's another energy that you're sending out that's a huntress or a hunter, and it's hunting cursed energies. It's hunting energies that do not belong to you anymore. I'm seeing those energies, majority of them reside in your heart space. Cleaning up that heart astral, cosmic realm. Because there's something about your heart space. The heart astral. Let's get into the tarot. And so when you arrive to the space, it doesn't have to be like a move. For some of you, it is a move. For others of you, it's this just like um, like a, a, a mind move or like um, a new mental space, a new spiritual space, a new consciousness space. Like this new divine matrix that we keep channeling and a new heart home, a new heart space. So it could just be that metaphysical space that you're moving into. For some of you, it could be physically. It's like, but it's like these energies arrive at this space before you actually do, before your body does, um, before the rest of you kind of joins in. Um, and that's where you will like see proof of it. You're going to see physical and literal proof 
of something that you have created, something that you've always wanted, a dream of yours, a wish, a vision, anything. Anything, anything that you, the imaginative self is trying to show you in this creative mural. You're seeing proof of it. And when you get there, it's like, I knew it. I knew it. I felt it. And there's so much gratitude. There's so much. Um, I'm getting a lot of like peace. I'm also getting a lot of freedom. There's a lot of energies here that are freed. Free to explore areas. That are freed. The curse. Freed energies. Freed energies. Limitless possibility. Yeah, stars in the sky. You have here the moon. With the moon. Quite literally throwing stars onto your path. Again, more of this moon and star energy. It's beautiful. And the moon, this is number 18, which is nine. But the moon is also like things that are hidden, right? Things that are hidden, just like this imaginative self that's standing out in front of you. That light that's masking this energy. The light that is masking, right? You have here the sun, this masking energy. It's masking it. And then as you get closer to it, it takes form. Please tell me why I feel like your light is being casted upon this energy. And as you get closer and closer and closer to it, it takes form. There's something about that too. I'm just It just kind of came into my vision. Your moonlight your moonlight right treasures hidden in shadows the moon shadow the void the darkness you're letting it's almost like a an imaginative shadow or like i'm oh my god how do I say this? It's like this imagined itself. See how like that darkness is there, but also the light you see here. Stars in the sky and the night sky. I'm getting like there is an uh, a shadow aspect of the imaginative self. And that's what you have like let free. That's what you have let free to stand in front of you. And it's gifting you. Your imaginative self is, is gifting you with something so incredibly potent and so beautiful and so alive it's so incredible it's so you it's you something about you is coming to life from the shadows it's something that you have hidden it's something that you have suppressed it's something that you have completely just pushed to the side but it's not being pushed to the side anymore what no it is freed you have freed these energies and this hunter and huntress energy that's also that's also a shadow aspect because hunting it's hunting energies that do not need to be here anymore making room Making room for what? For your light to cast upon this new energy that is taking form in your space. That is why you need to make room. That's why this hunter and huntress energy is coming and, and hunting these energies that don't need to be here. Five of cups, five of water. You may be feeling really tired um, because of these energies that you have casted out because there's a lot of work here being done energetically, metaphysically, spiritually. There's a lot of spiritual energies here that are being casted out. 
Um, there's a lot of work being done. I can see that. You have here another five, 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 change. Five, five is what? Ten, ten of earth. Temptation, 15. Look, look, look at this. Remember how I said you have here 51, 51? Look at the mirror energy. This is 51, 15. Temptation. It's a devil energy. That's also what this hunter and huntress energy is removing, is removing temptations. Removing temptations. Things that used to tempt you were not tempting you anymore. Okay, it's something that I'm seeing here with that, with that card. The seven of earth. The eight of cups, eight of water at the bottom of that. Let's get one more. Let's get a final card. Oh, the ace of air. Clarity. That's clarity twice. Moving through a threshold, pushing through, pushing through your mind, pushing through mental entrapment, pushing through these energies. That's another ace, that's another one. So you do have your 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, 1. And you do also have your 666, the number of balance, the number of harmony. It's this year's number, 666. That's harmony. You're harmonizing with these energies, with these new energies in your space. It's interesting because this energy right here that you're sitting and basking in, you're basking in this, in this, in this personal power because this entire line is the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Earth, and this energy that you are seeing proof of, that new form, the energy that is taking form as you get closer and closer and closer to it with your light that casts upon this energy. It reveals itself to you, right? Okay, so you have all this energy here. But this is what you're also looking back at. You see that? That's how they came up in the spread. So this is you. It's, it's like you are going to be sitting here in this energy that you have seen proof of exists in your life. But you're also looking back. It's almost like you're taking one last look, one last reflective look on the past with the five of water and the five of air. Looking back at the past emotions, looking back at the past thoughts, but what are they? They're shattered. See here how this is a vanishing mirror? It's almost like you're watching these energies dissipate and vanish from your existence as you sit in the proof, as you sit in your blessings, as you sit in the here and now, exactly where you are supposed to be, exactly where you have imagined yourself to be, exactly in the space that you have dreamed of, that you have wanted, that you have foreseen for your that you have felt that you always wanted to be in you're sitting in the here and now you're sitting in this space and you're watching these energies vanish because they don't exist anymore this does 
and that is what you are seeing proof of now. Look at you, look at this now. You're looking at your personal power. You're looking at the very thing that your light has casted upon. As you moved closer to this, it revealed itself to you. Now you see proof. This is earth energy, ton of earth, proof, tangibility, something that you can see with your physical eyes, something that you can touch because it has form, it has material, earth, elemental form. It is real matter, earth matter consciousness in your hands that you have imagined that you have casted the energies for. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? Once you see proof of this, because you will, for this group, you will. Once you see proof of this, let me just put these back. How they came out. Once you see proof of this energy that is taking form in your physical nature. There's this energy here that you don't see anymore either. The temptation, the patterns, the habits. See here how you're not really directly looking at it. You're actually looking at the fairy. It's in your line of vision, but it doesn't exist in your reality. It doesn't exist where this has taken form. These patterns, these habitual movements do not exist in this new form of existence. You see that? Something else has materialized here with the Seven of Pentacles. And it's like spirit is giving you that notice. You also have this conscious understanding. It's like you're having a conscious communication with the spirit guide. This could also be your higher self. This could also be your imaginative self. This could be your hunters, your hunter energy. You're having a conscious conversation. This energy is at the back of your head. This energy has elevated, has become clear. Your mind has decluttered as your space has decluttered, as your material world has shifted and moved. And so your mind, your consciousness has evolved to a new threshold. And as your consciousness has evolved into this threshold, Look at the line of vision. Look at it. You don't see this anymore. Even though the energy seems to be here, you don't see it. Because your consciousness has evolved. Because your mind is elsewhere. You see something else now. You believe in something else now. Do you see that? And it's now, this energy now moves. It's almost like very cyclical. Now we kind of start from the, we work our way back to the beginning. Where are we working to? We're working to the vanishing mirror that came out first. Now this energy moves through this vanishing mirror 
and it vanishes because again you no longer see it you're no longer looking at it and the sun comes in as well and masks this energy masks it as well for transmutation for release for this burnishing right it goes into the sun what to burn I'm so close to my flame I'm not going to burn my card do you see what I'm saying I don't know why I feel like this is um, very closely related to this portal this moon portal the crater moon portal that was channeled to me about doing this ritual okay during the full strawberry full moon you release something it's no longer in your line of vision you no longer see it. it's no longer in your consciousness no longer in your patterning subconsciously and or consciously so all these energies right all these energies all of them are going into this mirror through this portal they're vanishing and then the sun comes in masks them and burns them away burns them away that's how I'm seeing it and so what you're left with is this new form you're left with the proof You're left with the treasures and the shadows that have risen, that have transformed, that have taken form. You are left with personal power that has taken form, that has risen in your body. That's what you're left with. And these are all things that you are now cognizant of and aware of. And I feel your gratitude that you are grateful of and that you are proud of. And that is really beautiful energy, Scorpio. That's your spiritual growth reading. Um, let me work to just clean this up and then I will move into your um, romantic love life, okay? Thank you for allowing me to read for that energy. Um... I hope a lot of it was very visual for me, so I hope it was clearly articulated. <laughs> uh, I always fear that I don't explain things properly. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We're good. We're good. All right. So, Scorpio, for your love reading, what I'm going to do is we're going to use the romance angel oracle cards as well as the light seers tarot okay so your theme is seeing proof okay seeing proof so let's see for scorpio please for scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Dark Venus for Scorpio. New love at the bottom of the deck. A new person has stirred, stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. For Scorpio, please. Ah, interesting. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life. It actually came up in the reverse, but I read energy how it is, regardless if it comes out in the reverse or not. Energy is energy when it comes through to me. So let's see what's going on, okay? At the bottom of this is choices and their consequences. It's staring at me at the bottom of this deck here. So you could have a choice between um, two people here from the past and new love so there are i'm seeing two of wands energy let's get one more please spirit all 
um, in the collective, there's a lot of, yeah, chemistry. It also came up in the reverse. Um, so I feel like, again, I'm being drawn to this energy that we channeled um, a few weeks ago regarding be careful of reconciliation. Um, be careful of people returning, okay? Because um, it may not be what you think it is, okay? Just seeing the lovers there, choice and love. All right, let's cut the deck. See your overall energy with this space. The lovers, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, eight of cups at the bottom of that. The lovers, so you definitely need to make a choice. Um, Scorpio, I'm very, very honest in my readings, okay? Um, I'm seeing some kind of shift on, um, on June 8th. You could be dealing with a Gemini whose birthday falls on June 8th. I'm seeing that very specifically here for someone. Um, but I'm seeing that, um, chemistry is no longer what it used to be with someone from your past. Um, this could just be even lingering energies, okay? It doesn't have to be. Um, a literal person from your past that you are dealing with or that you were dealing with okay if you've completely walked away from them it could just be the energy coming into the space just for you to um, be cognizant of that it's still here but it's 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 being released it's being removed it's also in the fire we also talked about this in your spiritual growth message that the sun is burnishing these energies that you are no longer looking at or focused on okay so i highly recommend for this group you do have here the sun in the distance that's where you're moving towards you're moving towards that clarity you're moving towards this new love here is something that i'm seeing here okay you are moving towards new love you are taking the necessary steps to move towards new love i do feel like for this group you're recognizing that this reconciliation for some of you or just lingering energies of the past is not the way that it used to be um it's just it's just not it, there's there's not a lot of chemistry here um it's something that i'm that i'm picking up on so yeah yeah, I'm getting similar energies from your spiritual growth message come through here of those energies going through that vanishing mirror portal and then the sun is taking it and masking it as it burnishes the energies away as you move because you see something else in the far distance, okay? And it's this new love. You're moving towards new love, Scorpio, okay? <laughs> Judgment number 20. It's crazy because this group, you are doing something so fascinating with the aspects of yourself. Um, again, I highly recommend you watch your spiritual growth message because your, um, your evolution, your spiritual um, growth has, um, has assisted you on your romantic path as well okay is something that i'm seeing here i'm seeing that thread from that energy that we read into here it's like everything is developing and moving and progressing in your life um because of your spiritual energies and your spiritual evolution and your transformations okay um but what i'm seeing here as well is that you're making a judgment call to free yourself to free yourself from these past energies okay you're not focused on them anymore no you're not <laughs> The magician you're going towards a new vision you're going towards something more stable here with the king of pentacles that king of pentacles is this new love energy that's coming through they're coming through with so much stability um they're very lax they're very relaxed um they're just kind of sitting back um they're very comfortable with you is something that i'm picking up on um, you're comfortable with them. They're comfortable with you. They also have a dog. Their dog is also very comfortable with you. This could be a new love. Um, someone that you have recently met um, is also something that I'm picking up on. Okay, so um, you, you um, depending on your timeline, okay, this group, you may have already met this new person. Okay, I'm seeing it's a very recent new love. Um, maybe like three to six months that you have known them at most. Some of you maybe one year, maybe. Um, but I'm feeling the energy. Like it's very fairly new for those of you if you have already met them. Some of you, you haven't met them yet. Some of you are still in this energy of releasing the, these lingering 
um, energies of a past lover. Okay, some of you, this may be even current. Um, so please use your discernment of timelines. But I see this person very comfortable around you. Wow, yeah, Ace of Wands. Um, very, very comfortable around you. Um, there's a lot of play. There's a lot of loyalty here with this dog energy. Um, well, they're a wolf, but um, I'm definitely seeing that they do have a they do have a companion with them. Um, they've had this dog for a very, very, very long time. Um, they are older. This this dog, um, but it's a really big deal for them. It's something that I'm getting that th that their dog feels comfortable around you. Um, and likes you is something that I'm picking up on like if their dog didn't like you I feel like that would be a telltale sign for them that it's something that they shouldn't pursue but the fact that their dog really likes you um, and is very comfortable with you is a telltale for them that um, that I can be relaxed here in this space with this person that I can trust this person that I can trust you so this is something that um, is very important to them um, the sun, <laughs> I kid you not, I kid you not, um, the sun came out in your spiritual growth message, we talked about those burnishing energies, we talked about that, um, the sun is burning, burning and, and releasing these past energies, okay, and where are you headed, we also mentioned that you're headed towards the sun, and here you have the sun, um, this is a really beautiful relationship, uh, Scorpio, this is something that is um, extremely loyal. This person is very loyal. Um, I'm going to be honest, this person immediately knows that you're the one for them is something that I'm seeing here. And, and this is something that I don't always pick up on. Oh my God, this person went through hell and back here with the Five of Pentacles. Um, they went through some kind of tremendous loss, um, financial, financial loss. This could also be a loss some of them may even have lost their dog okay um there's really something about a companion about a dog that's very very close to them they could have lost them i'm also seeing um, um a, a financial loss but they worked there they worked from uh bottom up okay so now they're in a really stable place in their life to have this relationship with you but what i'm also seeing um as soon as they meet you as soon as they connect with you um, they know that you're, they know that you are the one. And again, I don't always say this. Okay. But this is the energy that I'm feeling here with judgment, making a judgment call. Okay. Making a sound, a sound decision, being confident and stable in that decision and the sun clearly knowing, okay, a clear knowing. So this person, when they meet you, they clearly know that this is the right decision, that you're the right person for them. Okay, I also feel like that's also how it's going to happen with you. Okay, when you meet this person, you will clearly know. Okay, when you know, you know. <laughs> um, that's a saying that my mother always used to tell me, and I'm like, girl, what are you talking about? But it's the truth when you know, you know. Okay, <laughs> the tower. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so you have one, two, three, four major arcana so far, um, out of six cards so far in the deck, we're going to get two more, um, the tower, this, this new love, again, it's very sudden, okay, it's a sudden decision, like I said, they know instantly, they know right away, they make this decision right away. They know it's you. They just do. It's an inner knowing that they have. It comes out of the blue. It comes shockingly. It comes randomly. But again, it's not random. But it just happens so suddenly. These feelings, this decision, and this knowing that you are the person for them. A really incredible energy. And this is also about sudden change. Okay, this talks about sudden change. So for this group, if you're 
kind of deciding about releasing the old energy, even if someone isn't physically around you that you're dealing with, okay? Upon releasing and deciding to walk away from this older energy, something sudden occurs with this new person, okay? You meet a new person suddenly. As soon as you release, you make space for this new person to suddenly come in. This is a sudden change in your romantic life, okay? Alrighty. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> the Empress, new beginnings, yes. Yeah, there is that Five of Pentacles. And again, Five of Pentacles is underneath the King of Pentacles, okay? And you also have here the King of Wands. Again, some of you, this is a decision. This is a decision, okay, in love. Releasing the past, being very clear, being very, very clear. You know what's really interesting, okay? So this energy, we already talked about it. I'll come back to it if I need to. If this King of Pentacles has anything more to say about their losses that I haven't touched on, we'll get back to it. But I really want to address this. Because this, this is your theme. Proof. You're, you are going to be shown proof, Scorpio. Okay? You're going to see someone's true colors come to light. They're going to come to pass. They're going to be forward. All right? The sun is enlightenment, but also the sun is revealing things out in the open, truths out in, out in the open for what? So that you can make a sound decision, so that you can see the truth of something. And the truth that you are seeing is the truth of someone that you are currently dealing with or someone that you have dealt with in the past, but their energies are still kind of lingering around your space. Okay, so you're, you're being shown proof. You're being shown proof, Okay. And some of you, when you see the clarity of this person, okay, you see someone's true colors, you see someone's true intentions, all right? Others of you, the sun is also beside the king of pentacles. You're going to be shown proof that love does exist for you. Some of you are creating this with the Empress energy. Some of you are waiting for this creation with the Three of Wands. Some of you have been intellectualizing this, creating narratives around it, conjuring it up, creating a storyline. You're really trying to spell it out, spell it into existence is something that I'm seeing here because I'm seeing a lot of someone saying words, I want to feel like this, I want my person to be like this, or make me feel like this, is something that I'm seeing here with the Ace of Wands, okay? But also, or sorry, Ace of Swords, this also came out in your spiritual growth reading as well. This higher consciousness, this knowing, okay, this clarity in your mental space, in, in your intellect, okay, where you are seeing something, you're seeing energies for what they are and you're seeing people around you for what they are. All right? Look at this. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, right? And we also have the Ten of Pentacles in your spiritual growth message. Things are materializing. And the very thing that is materializing for you, you are seeing it. You're seeing it. It's being created. It's not just a it's not just a prophecy anymore. It's not just a vision anymore. It's not just a dream anymore. It's not just a wish anymore. It's matter. It's material. And just like your spiritual growth message, when you see it, when the light reveals it, when the sun reveals, reveals it, you see it take form. You see it taking form. King of Pentacles, Pentacles, form. And that's your proof that it exists in your reality, that it exists in your life, that this person does exist. I have waited, I have dreamed, I have wished for, and they do exist. Your reading, 
is so incredible. The message from your spiritual growth message is, is absolutely in sync with your romantic love life energy. It's really, really beautiful. They do exist. The love that you want exists. Scorpio, please don't lose hope. Please don't lose hope. Scorpio, this is your reading. I love you guys so much. I had a lot of fun with your energy. Thank you for allowing me to read for you. Um, all my all my love to you. And please, please, please do not give up hope. You deserve everything that you want and that you need. Okay, you deserve it. I love you.